Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to generate working drawings using the Steel Auto Drafter in STAD Pro Connect Edition. Using this workflow, you can extract planar drawings and material takeoffs from a structural steel model that is prepared in STAD Pro. The Steel Auto Drafter will produce plans at any level and sections in any of the orthogonal directions. Let's now turn our attention to our sample model that was supplied with this training course. Over the next series of videos, we are going to show you how to create all of the plan, section, and roof plan drawings for this sample model, along with the takeoff reports, which will all be done in the Steel Auto Drafter. Now, before we can go to the Steel Auto Drafter, we first need to verify a few pieces of information in our STAD Pro model and perform an analysis. The first thing we're going to show you in this sample model is how the properties were assigned. So if we go to the properties area, we're going to find our properties dialog. Now you're going to notice that sections have been assigned to this model using the sections database, prismatic sections, and user tables. Now all of these sections names will be available in the Steel Auto Drafter. If you are using a user table to assign your section properties, you will find a naming convention in the STAD Pro help file to assist you in naming those types of sections, including built up eye sections and built up channel sections, to ensure that they appear on your plans, tables, and takeoff reports properly. Now that we've reviewed the properties that were assigned to the members in our model, we're ready to move on with our workflow. Now, if you plan on using the Steel Auto Drafter, the rest of your workflow in STAD Pro would be the same as it would for analyzing any other structure. Now, the Steel Auto Drafter does depend upon the results from a STAD Pro analysis, so we do need to perform the analysis before accessing that area of the program. Now, for this particular model, all of the information that's needed for a valid analysis has already been added, including support, specifications, loading, and the analysis command. Now that I'm ready to perform my analysis, I'm going to go up to my ribbon toolbar, select the Analysis and Design tab, and then ask the program to perform an analysis. Now after the analysis is complete, I can go to any other area of the program, such as the post processor or the output file, in order to review my analysis and or design results. I want to go directly to the Steel Auto Drafter, so I'm going to tell the program I want to stay in the modeling mode. And then we're going to go to the Steel Auto Drafter. Now that we've entered the Steel Auto Drafter, let's take a first look at the graphical user interface that is presented to us. Right above your screen, you're going to have your workflow page control area. Now your main three-dimensional drawing is available on the Layout tab. Once we generate some drawings, we'll have some information on the Drawing tab, and then the Material Takeoff tab is used once you create a Material Takeoff report or a Material Takeoff drawing. Now within the Layout area, we can rotate our model um, any way we want. Say so we can hit the left view, we can drag on here dynamically. If you want to reset the view, we're going to go to the Home tab, and we can also zoom in on particular areas. Now on top of our screen, we're also going to find the Steel Auto Drafter Ribbon Toolbar, which is going to have all of the tools that we're going to be needed in order to complete all of the tasks we're looking for. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.